Hi everyone, it's your girl designer Soapbox and I am back with another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about late payments, okay? So let's just dive right into it. So what is a late payment? So payment history, guys. 35% of your credit score is payment history. So paying your bills on time gives you that credit score. Being late will ding your credit score. Now let's talk about how bad it dings your credit score. So you can literally go from excellent credit to fair credit to bad credit, okay? Just with late payments. So a late payment varies from 50 points to 100 points. Yes, very crucial. No, this is not like adding a new account. This is not like hard inquiries. This is late payments. Late payments play a major big deal in your credit score, in your credit profile as well. So let's talk about how late payments are reported. So late payments are reported from the lender to the credit bureaus, okay? So it's very key that you know how they're reported uh, so you can get a handle on them if you do have late payments about to occur or occurring. So one late payment can stay on your credit report for seven years, seven entire years. Yes, it's really crucial. So if you're in your 20s and 30s and you're trying to change your life, you don't want this to, you know, reflect seven years because seven years you can really change your life. So pay the bills on time, okay? <laughs> after two years, the effect of the late payment is considered less, okay? So after two years around, it's considered less, but it's still on your credit report. It's only considered less to some lenders. Some lenders won't, you know, look at it as much, but if it's recent, you know, it's definitely something where you may be denied because of that one late payment or several late payments. So when do late payments report? So late payments can't be reported unless it's 31 days late, okay? When you look at your credit report, it will say usually 30, 60, or 90 days late. So this is when if you have a 30-day or a 31-day late payment, and if you haven't paid it for 30 days, then you haven't paid it for 60 days, then you haven't paid it for 90 days, the, the lender will report it to the credit bureau and they'll update on your credit report how late you've been late on your, on your payments. So, you know, just make sure you keep in mind that just because you're late once, uh, they'll still be reporting late every 31 days or 30 days depending on the month. There is no such thing as a one day, five day, you know, 10 day late payment. So just keep in mind, if you're one day late, it's going to report as a 30 day, you know, payment. So how late payments can hurt you. Some lenders will deny you for recent late payments in the past year, sometimes two years, like I mentioned. Anytime there is less than 99% on time payments, then it's hurting your score. Okay, so let me just make sense of this for you guys. So if you're if you have a hundred percent on time payments and or ninety nine percent on time payments, anything less than ninety nine percent is going to hurt your score. Okay, so just make sure you in that you're in the green, ninety nine to a hundred percent. This is free gems right here. Okay, so it will take ninety nine on time payments to cure one late payment. Let me say this again. It will take ninety nine on-time payments to cure the one late payment. Yes. So this will affect a lot of people that have thin credit profiles, okay? Those are the people that are going to hurt more because they don't have they don't have a lot of credit and they're likely to have less credit accounts. So it's going to be harder for them to make 99 on-time payments because they have less accounts. Okay? So keep in mind how a late payment is very detrimental to your credit report. So let's talk about some helpful tips that can help you. Always communicate with your lender if you feel like you will be late on making any type of late payments before your due date. Also, here's a hack. Some lenders allow you to change your due date and statement date. However, it may take for your credit card to be active for perhaps like three months and then they'll allow you to change your due date and statement date once you build a payment history with them so just keep in mind that if you're new to the credit card it may not allow you you may have to wait a couple of months and then you can request to change your due date and statement date this is only for some lenders 
Also, automatic payments is your best friend. <laughs> always, uh, you know, always try to do this. Always try to get automatic payments if you can. Another good hack is get a separate bank account and, you know, put some money in it every month just for your credit cards. This is something that I personally do. And then I have the automatic payments coming out that personal bank account for for just my credit cards so that I won't get everything mixed up with other, you know, miscellaneous things that I have out of payments on, you know, or case or in case uh, you know, I go into the negatives or something. If I make a big purchase, you know, I know exactly what's going on in my bank account. So I have a bank account that is separate that's only for credit cards, okay? So this helps me a lot because nine times out of 10, you're not making late payments because you don't have the money. It's really because you're not organized and you have not organized enough to know when your late payments are coming. So this is just a little tip for, for, for you guys that helps me. Also, at least do a minimum due to avoid the late payment reporting. So if you do automatic payments, you can also do just the minimum. And usually the minimum you know, is way less than what you're paying, but this will avoid the late payment from reporting. It's not going to avoid the interest that's on your credit card, but at least you won't get a late payment on your credit report. So that's what I highly recommend is automatic payments is your best friend and at least do the minimum due every month. Okay. Also, you can set friendly reminders on your phone for your credit report payment. So I also do this just to be in the clear and on, you know, and on point very sharp as I set monthly reminders every month for all my credit cards. I also have a budget app that allows me to uh, show when that payment is leaving out my account. And also it shows me what is going to be coming up next. So it's going to alert me the day of or the day before. So that's also good to have an extra, extra reminder, okay? If you have a thin credit profile and you have late payments, a good hack, pay attention guys, because this is a very good hack. So remember when I said that it will take 99 payments to make that one late payment not reflect much on your credit report? So if you have an authorized user with 100% on-time payment, History, that can help you. Also, please make sure that they don't have any late payments on their credit card that you plan on using as an authorized user. Also, make sure they have more than six plus accounts with long-term credit history because this is going to make up the 99 payments that you need so that your one late payment can be less detrimental to your credit report. I highly recommend doing this with someone you trust, such as like a grandmother or grandfather or a mother or father, someone that's older and you know that they're able to pay their bills on time and you know that they have excellent credit history. Someone that you really trust because remember, this is going to go on your credit report, okay? So this is a hack for someone that has a thin credit profile that's very new to credit. Um, you will want to try to do this. Uh, that's why a lot of people use this hack when they have kids at a very young age so that it can help their credit profile uh, you know, become more aged. Hi everyone, this is Anna Soapbox. I just wanted to make this video to guys let you know that I am having a 50% off sale for 72 hours. Yes, a 50% off sale on the 24 hour express ink removal guide and also the late payment removal guide. So just head down to the description or to the pinned comments and click the link and get your 50% off. Remember, this anchor removal will help you remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours. And then the late payment guide will um, help you remove your late payments uh, very fast, super fast actually. Um, if you're tired of disputing your late payments waiting 30 to 45 days, this is a quicker method of getting these late payments removed. So if you guys enjoyed a lot of my content, I talk about this in my videos. However, I have this in an ebook. I'm doing 50% off for you guys. If you missed a 60% off sale, I'm doing one for 50% off. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.
so thanks for watching guys i hope this is some good content don't forget to subscribe like and comment follow me on instagram i know i've not been active but please follow me on instagram you go i'm going to be more active on there for you guys you guys are blowing me up and i appreciate all the love Make sure that you also check out my website at designersoapbox.com. Check out those ebooks. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, I love you all. Bye.